Zoe, I know you're probably incredibly excited to witness your first flute week. I'm like dancing. I just can't even contain my excitement. I am so pumped for this afternoon. Yesterday was so cool. Even just watching the Blue Angels practice on Thursday was awesome. And we're looking at some really nice weather for it, even though it is going to be a bit cloudier today than what we saw yesterday. Yesterday was gorgeous. We really were in luck. This morning we are dealing with a little bit more fog, a bit of a misty start to our day. Good news though. Look at this mist and this fog. It's already beginning to lift. And the big thing is as long as the cloud deck is above 1000 feet, the Blue Angels should be able to fly and all of the jets should be able to go for the air show. And look at this. Our cloud deck is already beginning to lift. Salesforce Tower is about 1,070 feet tall. The clouds are above it, so that's how you know the cloud deck is officially now above 1000 feet and they already should be good to go. A little bit more fog progressing throughout the bay early this morning cannot be ruled out, but by this afternoon it should be sunny and clear. Well, I don't know how much sunny it's going to get, but at least it's not going to be as foggy. Temperatures early this morning are in the upper 50s to low 60s. Jacket is definitely necessary. If you do plan on heading out and watching the show, maybe even grab something with a hood on it because it's those onshore winds that definitely Definitely make it feel a bit chillier. And again, we are expecting a little bit more cloud coverage to stick around today. Tomorrow it will be a foggy start to our morning, but we are expecting more afternoon sunshine tomorrow. If you want to head out today across Santa Rosa or the North Bay communities, it's going to be nice, but there is the better potential for a little bit of rain today. So if you want to head out to the Art and Wine Festival, grab an umbrella. You likely aren't going to need it, but I would say just be safe rather than sorry, because there is that better potential for a line of showers to arrive across our North Bay communities around noon or one and continuing through about three or four. But you notice as it pushes south, it begins to kind of dry out, fizzle out here in San Francisco. We aren't expecting all too much more than an isolated sprinkle, but it's mostly going to remain dry across the Bay Area other than our North Bay communities. It will be getting foggier and cloudier overnight tonight and waking up early tomorrow morning. Like I said, it's going to be a foggy start to our day, but by the afternoon, we're going to notice clearing from north to south and hopefully that will be perfect timing for the air show tomorrow afternoon. Today again, it is going to be a bit cooler, especially closer to the coast. We'll be sitting in the mid to upper 60s versus upper 70s across our inland communities that will be seeing plenty of sunshine as the storm system sitting up to our north, currently crossing the Pacific Northwest and Northern California. That's the reason that we are going to be seeing a few of those isolated sprinkles this afternoon and why the heaviest chance of it is going to be across the northern parts of the Bay Area. By tomorrow, we will be noticing slightly warmer temperatures, slightly drier conditions before another system heads our way late Tuesday and into Wednesday, and we might even see a few isolated showers waking up early Wednesday morning. So we have a lot of moisture on the way and we have those cooler conditions sticking around, which is really, really nice after the heat wave last week and over the next seven days, we will continue to see those comfortable conditions sticking around a bit more cloud coverage today, a little bit more sunshine tomorrow, 80s and upper 70s all the way through the middle part of the upcoming week. You notice a little bit more sunshine and a little bit more heat that is going to build by the later parts of the upcoming week for the Bay Areas and inland communities. We are going to be seeing a heat up on the way, so that is news for anybody that maybe wants to have a little bit last taste of the summer season. It should be arriving late next week and next weekend. Up until then, though, especially for the coast, it's going to feel a lot more seasonable. It's going to be foggier with that marine layer holding strong, but good news for this weekend fleet week. It should be good to go this afternoon and tomorrow. Max, back to you.